Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mac from Cryptstar. And you may be asking yourself, what the hell is liquidity baking? I just got my mind wrapped around what the hell is baking, but now we have this new topic, liquidity baking, and it seems to be all the rage in the Tezos ecosystem. And so today I'm going to go ahead and explain what liquidity baking is in layman's terms, kind of break it down very simple, Barney style for you guys. And also I'm going to kind of explain exactly how you can get TZBTC uh, if you want to. It's not an easy process. And also going to explain what the APR and how that where that comes from and what layer one liquidity baking is. Now, if y'all also may be wondering why I don't have my camera on today, it is because I forgot my makeup. I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, I'm just, my camera's broken. So I'm uh, you know, just going to make this video without a camera today. To go ahead and get started, we're going to go to this liquidity baking site. You can see the APY is 60%. Okay. That's kind of like, what? That's crazy. Layer one liquidity baking. That's crazy. How do you guys get that? To understand this, let's go ahead and head over to my bakery and show you how the bakers get their rewards. Every cycle, every block so this is right here this is eight blocks it's from 2 million 048 001 008 right that's eight blo eight blocks during those eight blocks i get three endorsements and i get a small payment for those endorsements and those endorsements are actually endorsing whoever bakes the block right in this case this 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 sort of gray looking one we bake the block so it's about a couple hours from now maybe like an hour and a half i think not, not sure exactly maybe like 30 minutes but yeah anyways we get the block here we also have two endorsements for that um for that bake we also have two endorsements during this eight cycle uh, block period okay and we get a big prize uh, for going ahead and baking that block now with liquidity baking 2.5 tez is automatically injected into a liquidity pair so the liquidity pair in this case right now is tzbtc and tezos you have 2.5 tez being injected every 30 seconds into this block, which over a 10 month period is, uh, well, it was about 7 million. Now with the Tez decreasing in price, I'm guessing just off the top of my head, it's around 5 million. This gets injected into the liquidity baking decks. Now, how the kind of money gets moved around in this is as the Tezos slowly accumulates in the, on the, in the liquidity pool, on the one side of the liquidity pool, TZBTC stays the same, right? So it doesn't move, it just kind of sits, sits there. As Tezos goes up, People can come in and they, they, they can mint or get TZBTC from one of the three uh, gatekeepers, which right now is Bitcoin, Swiss, Horton, and Signum. So you can get that and then you can actually buy Tezos for the really cheap price. So as Tezos gets inflated more and more and more, like the, sorry, the amount of Tezos gets increases in this side of the pool, the price to BTC gets cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. So people come in, they see an arbitrage opportunity, they mint with one of these... Uh, one of these three, they get like a bunch of Bitcoin and they run like a bot or something like that. And they, they slowly, you know, even out the price of Tezos in this pool. So they're getting really, really cheap Tezos. And then they can sell the Tezos on the market or for a higher price quite easily. Uh, if they just go to like you know, Binance or something like that. So it's a quite easy way to, to make money for them. And as a end user, if you go ahead and provide liquidity to this, as the more TZ BTC gets pumped in, the, price, the, um, the liquidity points slowly go up. So actually your stake in the liquidity pool slowly goes up over time. So that's where the 60% APR comes from. When I first made a video on how to go ahead and add liquidity using this interface right here, this TZKTC Explorer, I basically went here and I showed you guys how to trade and then add liquidity and then remove liquidity. I think the, the total TVL at the time was only 2 million. So it was like 200% APR or APY at the time. Right now it's, it's a lot lower, it's only 60%. It seems like there is also another interface out. I've been looking around for interfaces. Uh, some people complained to me that I was saying there was no interfaces. There is one more interface that is kind of under, sort of under publicized. Um, and I tried using it just now and their feature, of just doing it with Tezos didn't seem to work. Provide only at Tezos. I thought this was really, this is a really cool idea. You just provide the Tezos and it auto swaps for you. But that didn't seem to work for me. And I'm trying to check. Yeah. So it didn't seem to work for me. It you go like this, and then I calculated it, and it for some reason it didn't didn't work. So I'll try again one more time here. Try. Yeah, let's try this one more time. Add liquidity. Let's see if this works. Oh, it's working now. Okay. So you can just add liquidity really easily from this interface right here. Oh, it's about, no, maybe not. It's going to fail. So I'm going to try one more time. Transaction likely to fail. Okay. It's not working very well. Transaction likely to fail. When I hit confirm, what, what does it show here? Uh, not enough balance. I have enough balance though. My balance is 51 tes. Okay, this is weird. Let's try again. Hmm. Oh, weird. It's not working. Now, I'm not sure why that's not working. Um, you could try swapping uh, Tez for TZBTC. 
That seems to work. Okay. And I'm doing this with my private wallet or with my private node. So it's actually a lot faster if you, than using the public node. So don't expect this to be so fast if you're using uh, you know, Temple's built in uh, mainnet node. So I'm going to go to liquidity and I'm going to go instead of pr providing only XTZ, which is a cool feature, but it seems to be broken right now. Uh, it's going to, in just a second, it'll show my balance here. And then I can just go ahead and add the liquidity and then it'll be done. And for this on Tezos, for this liquidity baking, you don't need to stake this anywhere. Uh, in order to go ahead and get the rewards from the liquidity baking, it is still 60%, right? But if you go to uves.com, you can actually stake it on uves.com. And then you can make the gains from that. Let's go ahead and refresh this page. Oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. Looks like, looks like it's working now. Yeah, but it's still showing my old balance for some reason. But oh, it's not working very well. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Oh, so you can't swap. This is really lame. Oh, no. Okay, so it doesn't automatically populate the other side. Oh, uh, this is annoying. Uh, well, at least with the, this one, you can at least swap and it auto populates for you. I don't want to. Uh, it looks like. So let's go ahead and go. I'll, I'll press in twenty, or I'll, I'll press in nineteen. So you just kind of got to guess the number here. Yeah, and then you can add liquidity. So it's not like the best interface to be honest, but you know it works. I would definitely recommend using this one. It, it tends to work better. You'll still come across some errors. It's a little bit more intuitive than this one. Although I think that this one looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot nicer, but it doesn't. It isn't quite as easy to use. So, yeah. Anyways, I just added liquidity. So yeah, you can see sort of adding liquidity. It's gonna say I have zero LB token right now. When I refresh this page, it'll say I have you know, liquidity in there. This is I have zero LB token. And it still says I have zero LB token. Okay, so this is kind of annoying. I just added liquidity. It looks like, did that fail or something? Okay, so hey guys, I don't know why this website isn't seem to be working. I can't remove my liquidity, so I'm having issues. So I mean, you can probably remove it on the liquidity decks here. Connect wallet. Okay, I'll connect my temple wallet. Let's see if this works. Oh, okay, so it looks like my shares are loading here. That still says zero shares. That's lame. Oh, there you go. Zero shares. Here we go. So it looks like if you can't see it on here for some reason, like I can't, I can see it on here. I'm going to remove my liquidity here. Firm. And there we go. All right. Well, that's it for today's explanation. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or go ahead and leave a comment below. Otherwise, please go ahead and subscribe for more Tezos content or blockchain gaming content. I do a lot. Uh, please check it out. And I will catch you all in the next video. Bro, we need to pop it. Everybody, go to Twitter and hashtag the things. Pump it. You know, pump it real good. We need a good pump. Everybody deserves a nice Tezos pump.